Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I have some questions that I feel like every homeowner should be asking their crawl space encapsulation professional prior to hiring them. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, waterproofing, dehumidification. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Also follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunity. For most of you out there, you realize there's a big difference between contractors. And I hate to say it, but some of the recent data I have seen is that residential remodeling contractors are rated some of the worst professionals that we have in America today. They're, they're by far got horrible reviews on the Better Business Bureau. You can check out all the Google reviews and all that. So I came up with some questions that might be good for you as a homeowner to ask your crawl space encapsulation professional to make sure that they're doing a quality job, that they've got all the certifications and licenses and things like that that I'm sure all of you want them to have in order to work on your home so let's get started. Question number one, and these aren't any, in any particular order, but one of the biggest things I would ask or, or recommend that you ask is, do you have liability insurance? That is a huge problem nowadays where you have a lot of companies out there that are operating without liability insurance or enough liability insurance. We recommend at least a million dollars in liability coverage uh, if they can get that because there's very little that could happen normally within the scope of work that's going to be involved in, in uh, going over a million dollars. But another little tip that I would recommend you do is once you verify that they have liability insurance, if they show you that certificate, that doesn't mean that it's current or paid in full up to that point. They could have got that certificate and then canceled the policy and just showed you the certificate that the insurance gave you or gave them to show and they, they aren't currently insured. So you can actually ask to be added as additional insured on their liability policy to make sure that they are current on their payments. Another thing that's vital is if they are a company that has employees, depending on what state you're in, of course, as far as I know, all states require those employees to be covered by work comp or workman's compensation insurance. That is to protect you as the homeowner. If any of the employees get hurt on the job, they're not going to go back and sue you or sue your uh, property insurance that they have that license or that insurance in place along with liability. Those are two different insurance plans. So make sure they have workman's comp as well. The other thing you want to make sure is, are they licensed in your state to do the work that they have been contracted to do? Not every state requires a general contractor's license. For example, here in Tennessee, we can operate in what's called a home improvement license or a limited liability license. Some states don't require any type of license. They'll just have, say, a county certificate or a county license that's not at the state level but I would recommend that you check into that and make sure they are properly licensed in what they do. And the other thing is if they're doing electrical work or plumbing work or HVAC work, that may institute a separate and addition license other than a general practice license, okay? So in order for a plumber or an electrician to operate in the state of Tennessee, that's a specialty license that those professionals have, which we as crawl space encapsulation contractors would not need. Another thing that may come up, depending on what part of the country you're in and the particular municipality that you reside in, for example, if you're in the city, you want to make sure whether a permit is required to do the work. A lot of times in Tennessee and the counties, they don't require any type of permits, but some counties do, some counties don't. So if you check that out at your local level, call your local county or your, your municipality and ask if a permit is required, then that way the permit can be pulled for the job. The other thing is who is required to pull the permit? Is it the homeowner that is required to pull the permit or the contractor? And is that price of the permit built into the job? Is it an addition to the job? Those are some good questions to ask. Okay, so if you're keeping track, this is uh, question number five that you should ask. Does the company hire subcontractors to do the work. Now, Crawl Space Ninja 
uh, unless we go with say a, a temp service that we might need on a larger job, we do not subcontract out any work. All of our professionals are trained and certified here locally by the branches or if they're a franchise, they're trained and certified at the branch to do the work that we've done. We actually have a 90 day training program that we put all of our ninjas through. Uh, some classroom, mostly OJT on the job training. So we don't recommend you hire people that use subcontractors to do the work. We, we feel like that's something that, that the company should keep in house. But if they do hire subcontractors to do that work, are the subcontractors covered by the liability insurance that I mentioned before? Are those subcontractors covered by workman's comp? Those are responsibilities that the contractors should make sure of, and that is the responsibility you should make sure the contractor has asked as well. So the, it gets a little complicated, but you wanna make sure anybody setting foot on your property to do work is properly licensed, properly insured, work comp is in place, and uh, what happens if the contractor doesn't pay the subcontractor? Are you on the hook for that sort of thing? So those are some great questions to ask. Okay, so the sixth question to ask your crawl space encapsulation contractor is, do you offer mold cleaning? And if so, are you properly insured to offer mold cleaning? Most people don't realize that mold remediation or mold cleaning carries a separate liability policy on the insurance. In other words, you can have a general liability policy like I mentioned before, uh, but if you're if you're like a Surf Pro or a Balfour or a Crawl Space Ninja where you're going in there and doing mold remediation or any kind of uh, mold application of a disinfectant or different things like that, the insurance companies require a rider policy to cover that mold work, okay? So a general liability policy would not cover any mold work. So make sure that you ask your Crawl Space Encapsulation contractor if they have the proper mold removal liability policy rider. And again, make sure you're listed as an additional insured to keep track of whether it's current. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my first six questions. I've got another video coming out here shortly that's gonna be part two of more questions you should ask your contractor to make sure you're getting the best contractor for the work. I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.